Welcome back to Sissy Maya. Here, we embrace true femininity. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to never miss an update. My name is Jake, and one day while I was home alone, I saw my sister Elizabeth's pink dress hanging in the drying rack. As an instinctive act, I immediately picked it up to later try it on. As the soft fabric grazed my fingertips, a mischievous grin spread across my face. It was an innocent curiosity that had taken hold of me, an opportunity to experience something new and unexplored. With a quick glance around the empty house, I found myself succumbing to the temptation, unable to resist the allure of Elizabeth's pink dress. Closing my bedroom door gently behind me, I moved to the center of the room, deep breaths fueling my growing excitement. The dress swayed gently in my hands as I unraveled its delicate form. Its satin material shimmered under the soft glow of sunlight streaming through my window, as if beckoning me into a world of hidden desires. Carefully, I slipped off my clothes, casting them aside in a flurry of anticipation. My reflection caught my eye in the full-length mirror hanging on the wall, and for a moment, doubt tinged my excitement. But the allure was too strong, and I pushed away any lingering hesitation. Stepping into the dress, I felt an unexpected rush of exhilaration. The fabric embraced me like a lover's touch, forming itself perfectly around my body. The dress clung to every curve, accentuating a shape that was unfamiliar yet undeniably captivating. As I twirled in front of the mirror, echoes of Elizabeth's laughter danced through my mind. She had always been carefree and adventurous, this act seemed like an homage to her spirit. I wondered what she would think if she knew her brother was now exploring this secret world for himself. With each sway and spin, my inhibitions melted away. I was enjoying myself more than ever and decided to have some more fun with it. I grabbed a pair of Elizabeth's heels from her closet, their elegant design offering a perfect complement to the pink dress. As I slipped my feet into them, a surge of confidence surged through me. It was as if this forbidden act had awakened something within me, a hidden side that craved expression and freedom. Lost in the intoxicating allure of femininity, I moved towards Elizabeth's vanity and opened the top drawer. In it, I discovered an array of makeup and accessories, each one holding the promise of transformation. My heart raced with excitement as I carefully applied a touch of mascara to my lashes and swept vibrant pink blush across my cheeks. With steady hands, I traced the outline of my lips in a deep shade of red, watching as they transformed into a sensual pout. The reflection in the mirror took on an enchanting quality that seemed to transcend gender boundaries. This was more than just playing dress up, it was an exploration of self-expression and identity. As the final touch, I adorned myself with Elizabeth's pearl earrings, their lustrous sheen gleaming against my skin. Gazing at my reflection, I saw someone new staring back at me, not just Jake, but a hybrid of Jake and Elizabeth. This person felt whole, liberated from societal expectations and norms. A knock on the door shattered my reverie, jolting me back to reality. Panic surged through me as I scrambled to gather my clothes and wipe away any trace of my secret adventure. The voice on the other side belonged to Elizabeth herself. Jake? Are you in there? she called out. My heart raced as I fumbled with the dress, and being afraid of getting caught, I rushed to remove the tight dress over my head. That's when I hear the dress tear apart. In a moment of sheer terror, my hands trembled as I tried to extract myself from the torn fabric. The sound echoed through the room, piercing the silence like an accusation. Panic surged through me, mingling with shame and regret. As the reality of my impulsive decision sank in, I knew there was no turning back. Elizabeth's voice grew closer, her footsteps drawing near to my bedroom door. Time seemed to slow down as my mind raced for a solution to salvage this situation. With a surge of desperation, I hastily searched through Elizabeth's closet for a replacement dress. My heart pounded in my chest as I discovered a similar pink dress, 
though slightly different in style. It would have to do for now. Frantically, I slid the new dress over my head, barely noticing the subtle differences in fit and design. The torn remnants of Elizabeth's dress were hastily stuffed into a drawer, hidden away from prying eyes. Just as I managed to compose myself, the door creaked open, revealing Elizabeth standing in the doorway. Her eyes widened with surprise as she took in the sight before her, a dishevelled room and a guilty expression etched across my face. Jake? What on earth is going on? Her voice was filled with confusion and concern. My mouth went dry as I struggled to find the right words. Should I confess? Should I lie? But before I could form a coherent sentence, Elizabeth's eyes fell upon the replacement dress that barely disguised my secret. A myriad of emotions flickered across her face, shock, curiosity, and something else that I couldn't quite decipher. She stepped into the room, closing. The door behind her, shutting out the world and enveloping us in a bubble of secrecy. Her gaze lingered on me, studying every detail as if trying to understand what she was seeing. I took a step back, my heart pounding in my chest, unsure of how she would react. Would she be angry? Disgusted? Or would she embrace this newfound side of me? Jake. Elizabeth's voice wavered with a mix of emotions. Is this something you've been keeping from me? I nodded, unable to form any words in that moment. The truth hung heavy in the air between us, like a fragile thread about to snap. She let out a sigh, her eyes filled with a strange mixture of sympathy and understanding. You didn't have to hide this from me, you know, she said softly. I've always known you were different, Jake. We all have secrets, and this, this is nothing to be ashamed of. Relief washed over me, mingling with the lingering apprehension. I had feared rejection, judgment, but Elizabeth's acceptance offered solace. It was as if a weight had been lifted off my shoulders, a burden I hadn't even realized I carried. Elizabeth stepped closer, her hand reaching out to touch the worn fabric of the replacement dress. Her fingers grazed my arm gently, sending shivers down my spine. You look beautiful, she whispered, her voice barely audible. A warmth spread through me at her words, a flicker of something more than sibling love igniting deep within my core. The lines blurred between brother and sister, friendship and desire. It was a moment of undeniable connection, an unspoken understanding that transcended societal boundaries. In that instant, I realized that my hidden desires were not limited to self-expression alone, but extended to the realm of exploration with Elizabeth. Torn between the familiarity of our sibling relationship and the enticing allure of something more, I hesitated, unsure of how to proceed. But Elizabeth's eyes held a spark of anticipation, a silent invitation for me to embrace this uncharted territory. Leaning closer, her lips brushed against my ear, her warm breath sending shivers down my spine. Jake, she whispered, her voice laced with desire. There's no need to hold back any longer. Let's uncover these hidden desires together. Her words filled me with a mix of excitement and trepidation. It was as if a Pandora's box had been opened, revealing a world of forbidden pleasures waiting to be explored. With trembling hands, I reached out to trace the contours of Elizabeth's face, fingers brushing against velvet skin. Our lips met in a hesitant kiss, tentative at first but quickly escalating into a passionate embrace. The weight of secrecy fell away as our bodies melded together in an intoxicating dance of desire. Our connection went beyond the physical, it was an intertwining of souls and shared vulnerabilities. For hours, we lost ourselves in each other's arms, exploring the depths of our hidden desires without reservation or judgment. Time became irrelevant as pleasure washed over us in waves, erasing any doubts or inhibitions that lingered within our minds. In this secret world we had discovered, boundaries blurred and roles shifted. Gender became fluid, identities merged and transformed and we never spoke about it ever again. 
We promise to keep our little secret forever.